Okay, so my goal is to get my Class B RV driving as smoothly as a Cadillac. Um, I'm Dr. Dave, the RV Dummy. Welcome to my channel here. Um, so what I'm doing, I'm going my way to the place that's going to be installing some Kony FSD shocks made especially for RVs. I, I guess they're made for trucks also. I'm not sure. But you know, um, as, as great as this rig drives, and it really does drive really, really well, um, maybe I'm getting a little more particular and I want it to drive like like a luxurious car and maybe that's not possible but um, a short time ago I had some new brand new heavy-duty leaf springs put in uh, on the rear obviously and it made a tremendous difference and some of the um, times when I went over bumps it was just really loud and noisy now it's it's absolutely much better but I'm taking it up a notch my friend Mark um, who is an RV expert has suggested that I try the these Kony uh, FSD shocks and um, I ordered them from Amazon, four shocks. They're not cheap, but I'm on my way to the um, suspension shop and they're gonna install them for me. And so that's why I'm doing this video now, showing you that it's a little bit, I don't know if you can hear the noise in the background, but it's a tiny bit of a rough ride. I'm, I'm on a road that has some imperfections and potholes and stuff like that. So I'm gonna be, testing and I'm be driving on the same road on the way back on the way home to see um, what the difference is so you're seeing it now we're going over some bumps it's a little 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 shaky not bad it's certainly acceptable and if I didn't do anything at all to the this rig it would be totally fine but I think I've just got this idea that I want to have it running much much smoother even so I'm on my way to the place right now I'm gonna give that to them they're gonna have it ready today on the way back I'm gonna go ahead and if I can get around this truck I'm gonna go ahead and do another video and we will totally compare the difference okay so I'm back with you yes got it done today Coney's RV shocks on this baby right here front and rear all around um, the guy said, by the way, the guy said so it was very difficult installing the ones by the on the front driver's side. He said the access was extremely difficult. So don't try this at home, people. <laughs> don't try it at home. Now I'm ready to go ahead, and I'm going to go out on the road. And we're gonna, uh, by the way, um, this is the same day. Even though I shave my beard and I change my T-shirt, I do that occasionally. It's the same day. This is just afternoon. Uh, just picked up the van. Um, let's go ahead and one of the first things I'm going to try is um, I don't know if you all noticed this on yours but when you go from a driveway to a street or vice versa you know there's a little just a little teeny bump or imperfection in the road and this thing one of the things I never really liked about it much is this thing I guess you call it I guess you call it suede um, back and forth it was just always you always have to do super 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 slow or else it's gonna go do 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 but let's try we're going onto the road right now um, well wow, that seemed to be a lot better it seemed to be a lot better a um, little bit of bounce here but that this is a, like I said before this is a very rough road uh, there's a lot of weird imperfections in this road here um, not like a regular highway at all um, so I'm gonna give you my honest opinion as to whether I think it's better, the same, or worse. Here we go, we're gonna go over some railroad tracks. This is perfect testing, we're gonna go over some railroad tracks right now. You ready? Here we go. That was pretty smooth. Um, I can't say for sure if it was better than my other ones. I can't, I, I'm not positive, but it was, definitely smooth over those railroad tracks I mean I could go with a, at a pretty good rate of speed um, I want to also try another um, driveway because the driveways were kind of like the worst I wanted to see if I find one on the way back it seems like it's not smooth at all let's see if we can find one I'm looking out for it right now I will find one I promise I mean does it drive like a Cadillac and I'm using Cadillac as the generic term does it drive like a Cadillac no it does not drive like a Cadillac or a Mercedes or a Volvo or a luxurious type car. Um, but it is a van and I, I took my chances and um, I'm hoping, you know, the other shocks I had on this were um, 16 years old. So 
I have no problem replacing these and, and just seeing seeing if there's a big difference at all. Let's see if I now I want to find I want to find a rough driveway. If I can. Maybe this is good right here. I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a right into this. So hang on. In the past something like this would definitely be very awkward and difficult. Let's try this now. absolutely better no question that was better so you know what I mean now you go into a um, driveway and there's like an up you know you got to go and um, in the past it would it would just it would sway back and forth I, I was in somebody's pickup truck the other day and he had horrible sway and I hope I'm using the correct word but um, going over like a, a curb type thing this was that was absolutely better there a lot more confidence going up and now let's go down and see if this is any better now probably not going to take it quite as fast i think i took the other one just a little too fast i normally wouldn't go that fast anyway so let's just see at the speed i would be going let's see how that feels ready wait till the traffic clears that's always a good idea here we go that was very good that was very good. We got one more set of railroad tracks to go over right now for a good test here. Didn't even feel that. So my conclusion is they make a difference. They're definitely better. Um, again, but do they? Does this Class B RV drive like a luxurious car? No, it still does not. But definitely improved and um, I'm willing to put this kind of money into it, especially, at, like I said, since my shocks were 16 years old, I want to get a, a newer pair, a newer set, not a pair, a newer set. We'll give them a thumbs up. Talk to you soon. Dr. Dave, the RV dummy. See you soon.